Let's talk about the role of specialized amino acids in muscle atrophy, starting with how our body uses amino acids or protein. When a person is healthy, his protein intake equals that of his protein usage. There is a balance between body processes that use up protein and the replenishment of protein, mostly through diet. However, in times of disease or distress, this balance shifts. Our bodies require more protein to cope with the disease, but at the same time, a patient's appetite falls. He is then unable to replenish his protein stores, so his body begins to take up protein away from his muscles. This condition leads to muscle atrophy, which is the loss of muscle tissue or lean body mass due to inactivity, age, chronic disease, or malnutrition. A study was conducted on the amount of leg mass loss in patients of various demographics. Healthy young adults lost up to 2% of lean leg muscle mass after 28 days of bed rest, while healthy elderly patients lost up to 10% of lean leg muscle mass in one-third of the time or in 10 days. Even more shocking is that in elderly inpatients, over 10% of lean leg muscle mass was lost in just three days. Muscle atrophy should not be taken lightly. It can actually lead to serious complications, with 40% loss of lean body mass invariably resulting in death. Because inpatients usually have poor appetites, there is a need to supplement their diet with amino acids that can combat muscle atrophy. What are these specialized amino acids? The first two are glutamine and arginine, which work by increasing protein sources and synthesis in the body. On the other hand, HMB, the natural bioactive metabolite of leucine, works by acting as an anti-catabolic agent, minimizing protein breakdown and damage to cells while promoting strength and development of lean body mass. Studies on cancer and HIV-related muscle atrophy have shown that diet supplementation with HMB, arginine, and glutamine have increased both weight gain and lean muscle mass in these patients. This specialized amino acid mixture regulates protein synthesis while modulating protein breakdown, helping to address muscle atrophy.